Hey, what's up, everybody? Frank Slauson here. So I'm trying to adjust the uh, camera the best that I can. I know it's probably a little dark in here. I got the light on, but I'm sure you guys can still see me anyway. Well, Frank Slauson here, and uh, well, this will be my last video for this season. Yes, we've uh, came upon you know the next. Let's see, it's Memorial Day weekend, and then the day after Memorial Day is May 31st. And so that'll be the end of the, uh, the, the eighth, or well, the third season of me being on YouTube. And, you know, I think I have made more videos this season, this last season, than I did uh, the last couple seasons, anyway. But it's been fun. It's been, it's been definitely uh, inspirational. You know, we've, we've had an up and down road, just like it seems like we always do. Had some great videos. Probably had some crappy videos, of course. Gotta always include a few crappy ones too in the mix. I don't know why that is, but you know, just sometimes you just gotta do it, I guess. Uh, see what else. Other than that, I mean, it's just been kind of a topsy turvy thing, you know, left and right, with uh, things going on. Whether uh, whether I've entertained you, or informed you, or whatever, or even answered your questions. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. Now, originally in this video, because I said in the next video that I make, I was going to be uh, respond back to a challenge made by a guy named Scotty Needham. Now, I was really thinking about this. I was thinking long and hard about it, actually, really. But the thing about it, the all reality comes down to it, is, you know, and this is to you, Scott. You don't have any, what well, you don't have any fan base, pretty much, as far as your videos go. Okay. I will only challenge, or I will only accept your challenges, as far as video goes. Anyway, you know it, it, it was a good concept, but you gotta build yourself a fan base first in order for us to actually have real competition. Because I don't think it's fair that here I've been on YouTube for almost three years, and yet you have you just started on YouTube and you have maybe one, maybe two subscribers. Well, I have about close to you know almost nineteen thousand anyways, or nineteen. Yeah, at 19,000, almost uh, 1,900 subscribers, <clears throat> and uh, and I've kind of worked my way up on YouTube as far as you know, trying to get somewhere anyway is where I want to get. You don't have any of that stuff, you know. So I don't think it doesn't really matter who can make a video or better video, you know. It doesn't take much work, doesn't take much effort unless you really are trying to impress somebody. But get back to me when you have actually made some videos on your channel, when you actually have a little bit of a fan base, and then you and I will have true competition, because I don't think it's fair that I, that I you know, I have all these, you know, I have all these people, you know, that could easily go and subscribe to you, but because of how many subscribers I got, I highly doubt many people will be able to subscribe because you don't have much content on your channel. So, I'm sorry there, Scotty. You're a good guy. I love you. See, the thing is, what, what, what I did, what, what I haven't mentioned about Scott is that he had actually he is actually a friend of mine who I used to work with at the casino, uh, you know, many years ago. And if you go back to one of my earlier days, of my earlier vlogs, what I used to do, when yes, I used to bring the camera to the casino and, and film. I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but at the time, whatever, and I'd still do that. Do that now. I don't care. You know, if they want to kick me out, they can kick me out. I really don't care. Anyway, so. Uh, Scott was one of the guys in charge or whatever when I was when I used to work over there and he was also the guy who escorted me out on my on the day that I got fired you know I'll tell you more of those stories maybe later on or whatever anyway so yeah so there you go Scott there's my response to your challenge uh, I know you might be a little upset because you were looking forward to you and I going a few rounds but I got to think about it's like you know what nobody knows who you are you're, you're like an outsider coming in. You don't have any fans or any people that know who you are or that even, you know, I mean, I think you got a good style of video. You know, you can edit pretty well and you can make it pretty creative, but you need a little work. You need, you need a little, you need a little practice is what I'm saying. So you get back to me when you actually had some practice and we can go a few rounds if you want to go a few rounds, you know, come up with some challenge ideas or whatever. Uh, but other than that, you know, to me, you're you're bottom of the list right now, as far as things that I need to achieve. <laughs> Anyways, so there you go with that. 
Uh, that's my response to your challenge there, there Scott. Uh, let's see. Now I'm probably gonna get some the response. Or people say, "Oh, you check it out. You check it out." No, I didn't check it out. But if you go to this guy's YouTube page, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He has no fan base. He hasn't made that many many videos yet. It's better when the, when you know that the person's made some videos in order to so that they actually have uh, good content or whatever. Anyway, so uh, that, that helps makes makes challenges very excellent. Okay, uh, see how this also is my last uh, video for this season before I start doing some summer vlogs. Uh, I will be answering those questions from the uh, film collector or, or the movie collector here uh, sometime soon, probably in the next video because I want to wait. I'm trying to you know wait until I find out about those two jobs. You know, one one. The one's gonna have to hire me, you know. I hope, anyway, because I've been waiting. You know, right now I have no job right now, and I'm just, you know, I just don't think the appeal is gonna go the way it should. So, I guess we'll see. But uh, I am gonna do a review now on the movie Dreamscape, which I have right here. How many of you guys have seen this movie before? It's it's pretty good. I, you know, I, I saw well before I even seen it. I, I was, this was <coughs> at my old job site, believe it or not, because at, at Hugo's we actually sold DVDs on the side, and I saw the cover for it, and I was just like, man, this, this actually looks like a pretty cool cover. You see what the cover looks like? And it looks really like, almost like something you see in the Goonies, or Back to the Future, or Indiana Jones, kind of that kind of style, or E.T. Uh, very good artwork for whoever, whoever you, I'm thinking of the guy who probably did the artwork, probably did the was the same uh, guy who did the artwork for all those other films or whatever that I just mentioned. But uh, it's a sci-fi film that has to do with dreams. About is there a way that people can actually enter your mind or your dreams when you're sleeping? I always have that feel that sometimes, that, you know, as human beings, that sometimes we could actually, we, that it could actually be possible. That we could actually, you know, share the same dream. And you probably wonder, well, how can two people share the same dream? Well, if we're really, if, if what they say in science or whatever, that all we are are bodies controlled by our souls, then I think we're capable of pretty much doing, our souls are capable of doing pretty much doing anything when it comes to that. If there are spirits around us and, and ghosts and everything like that that like everybody keeps saying, then I believe that we, our minds, and our, our, our thoughts maybe, or our bodies can't really do much, you know, they can only do so much, but our spirits or whatever, even at night, can just do, can go wherever they want to go. That's why when you dream something, you, you can imagine it to be the best dream in the world or the worst nightmare in the world. And uh, trust me, I mean, even myself, you know, I have dreams you know, all the time of different things. A lot of times for me, when, it, when I have a dream, believe it or not, it's based on, you know, a lot of current events that are going on in my life right now. Sometimes they go back in time a little bit, they go back a few years, you know, but a lot of times they go, they're, they're about anything current that's going on. You know, I think about, you know, like things that are going on in my life or whatever. And I end up dreaming about those things. So, you know, whether they're good dreams or not, they're still dreams. But I do believe that people could actually enter, you know, like you could actually have the same dream with somebody. Or walk into somebody else's dream. I don't, I mean, it might sound a little weird just because it's based on a movie. You know, and it's all sci-fi, but... It's a pretty good adventure movie too, Dennis Quaid, and uh, and I found out uh, you guys want to know who did the voice for. Uh, see, uh, all you Ghostbusters fans out there who are really big on Ghostbusters Part Two, especially, I found out that the guy who did the voice for Vigo was not the guy who actually played Vigo, nor or Norbert Group, uh, the guy who actually did the voice for uh, uh, Vigo was a guy by the name of Max Von Sydow or Sydow. And he was in Strange Brew and a few other films, too. A lot of films, actually. This guy right here. He actually did the voice for Vigo in, in the Ghostbuster movie. And I was pretty surprised by that, because I thought it was actually the guy who actually played Vigo. And, you know, William Von Humberg is, is his name, a.k.a. Norbert Group. And, no, it was actually Max Von Sydow. So, hey, who knew, huh? So it's a good movie, and the artwork is really well. I mean, this DVD only cost me $5, so I'm sure, you know, 
I'm sure you guys can find this, you know, on Amazon.com or wherever. Of course, since I'm not working right now, I, I can't really go out and buy any movies. But this is one of the ones that I bought before I left, just because it's just like, you know, I gotta, if I'm going to be leaving, you know, to come back home for a while, I want to, you know, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to come to see Fibber, so I figure I'd buy one movie at least. It's just one last time. So, there you guys go. So, other than that, uh, I just want to do something now that uh, you probably don't really hear much on a lot of people's channels when, when you know, because a lot of people don't go by seasons when they go, when they do videos, they just randomly make videos whatever they want, pretty much. That's how I am, too. Uh, but I want to take this time to actually say thank you to everybody who has been a part of, you know, who has helped me out with this YouTube thing or who, uh, who I've had a, in, in my films, my videos, or whatever. I want to say thank you to all the people who have been watching. Uh, that means a lot as far as everything goes. Uh, I hope to build a bigger fan base this summer with some of the videos that I have planned to make. Uh, now, whenever I finally get myself a job or, or win the appeal or vice versa or whatever, I will have money this summer somehow, some way. I'm not going to give up. But uh, right now, I'm just waiting to hear, you know about a couple of jobs, but uh, possibilities anyway, either a security job or a job working for a hardware store. And both jobs sound great, both jobs pay great, so I just need one or, one or the other, pretty much. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you to everybody, thank you to my, my, my good friends here on YouTube, uh, like Cool Dooner and What Movie and, and uh, you know, Do We Want to be for and a few other, you know, and a whole bunch of you guys. New Wave Fan 1, uh, the Film Collector. Um, and then, of course, you know, two, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to build more of an audience myself, but also trying to get in touch with uh, not only the Shaytards, but also uh, the other family that's in Idaho that does videos. In fact, I'm watching one of their videos right now called The Fam Dambly, uh, which is Carl Unslot and Ginger Terrific or whatever. They're, both, they're all doing videos on their channel and whatnot to, to uh, you know, to be kind of like the Shade Tards in a way. But like the uh, more, I mean, I don't want to say more poor version, I guess, of the Shade Tards. But, the, you know, I mean, we all know that, you know, YouTube pays the you know, Shade Tards money so they can do whatever they want pretty much. Uh, these, these people actually have real jobs as far as just, you know, you know, they, they actually have 9 to 5 jobs or whatever, and they take care of the kid, three boys or whatnot. And it's actually pretty good, so you guys should go and subscribe to the Fam Family. In fact, I'll probably, uh, I'll leave uh, a link down below to their YouTube channel. And I know for a fact that if I can't do anything with the chain turns, I know for a fact that I might be able to do something with uh, Carl Onslaught and his family. So, anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and we will see you guys uh, this summer. Bye-bye.